In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about oil burner electronic controls. So we have our oil burner, our gun. You see the transformer, primary control. This is our pump. This is our motor. If I flip that ignition module open, I can see my leads from my CAD cell. Here's the CAD cell. So that just has two prongs. That fits in there. So when it shuts, it's looking at the flame or the lack of flame. So in order to check that CAD cell, we can pull that out. I'm just gonna put my alligator clips on there. It's a little easier to get a hold of. Now, if I cover that up with my thumb, we have about 13,000 ohms, 13.76K. So that's 13, it's almost 14,000 ohms now. If I take my thumb off so that thing starts to see light, we're down to 1.6 ohms. And that'll vary by the amount of light and dark that it sees. So, if it sees darkness, very high ohms. If it sees light, very low ohms. If I want to check out that primary control operation, I can close that gun up. We don't want to have those terminals exposed with that 10,000 volts. And I can plug this in. Now that's trying to start. But there's no oil hooked up to it. Or anything like that. So there's not gonna be any flame in there. So that CAD cell's not going to sense any light. That's gonna send a signal to our primary control. And that thing should shut down after a certain amount of time, whatever it's programmed for to shut off if it doesn't see the light. Now I know I got my 120 volts there because everything is running. I don't have to verify that. And it just shut down. So that just shut off. It's off on safety. Our little red button has popped. After we wait a couple of seconds, we can uh, reset that and start it back up. If we look at our primary control, you can see the wires in here. Again, we have our CAD cell wires. We have an orange feeding our pump motor and our ignition module. We have a hot coming in to black on our primary control and our neutral. So if we were to check the voltage, of our output of our primary mo control module, I would want to go from orange to white. White is our neutral going back. Sometimes when you get this many wires in there, it's hard to get, uh, get a good reading. We're gonna set this to volts. So I'm gonna reset this. Might have to hold my meter lead in there a little bit. Try to get a reading on that. I'm gonna reset it. That's starting. And we're reading 120 volts on that orange wire. Again, I have my meter lead in the orange from the primary control and my white from the primary control. So once that times out, it kills power on this orange wire. 
If I want to check my incoming power, again, it's kind of hard to get in there where the wires are with all the wire nuts in there. I'm not getting a good reading there. But since we're coming in from a power source, we should have 120 volts on the black and the white coming into our primary control, even though we timed out. There should be power there. This orange power gets killed there when our red reset button gets tripped. So we have a black wire, an orange wire, and a white wire going into that primary control. The yellow wires are from our CAD cell.